Welcome back trainers. So we're going to be going over the evolution event tasks as well as the new raids and a few tips that I have for you. But first we're going to discuss this lovely turn of events here by Niantic. And what is going on is they reverted the rewards back to normal. So you're going to be able to get rare candies from the legendary raids. Smart move on them because I have not really been raiding tier 5 raids whatsoever. I didn't do one tier 5 raid during the raid hour yesterday. I just I was not interested. I rather went for tier 3s or tier 4s. Simple as that. But not only that, but they're going to one up us and give us a charge TM when we do complete a tier 4 raid. So that is pretty nice. I think we all voiced our opinions for them to get the idea. They saw the dip in probably people going into raids and were like hit the emergency switch, get those rewards back. It's all about the money, folks. It's all about the money. So, a little bit more proof here. This is somebody who went into a legendary raid and got the rewards. 12 rare candies. As you can see, that is 10 more than I was ever seeing previously when they did nerf the rewards for some reason. So, there you have it. We're all safe to go back out and raid the legendaries as usual. Thank goodness. I'm really feeling bad for a lot of the people who did go out there and raid the tier 5s hard. And, you know, you're out of those rewards now as well as the raid passes. So... I don't know what they're going to do about that. Anyways, taking a look at the overview for the Evolution event, I will have all of the respected links in the description for the images made here. This one is going to be made by Leak Duck, so we will have those one-hour lures, times two XP for evolutions and evolution items from raids, as well as the Burmy Family Shiny, which is a very slight difference here. And the only one showing a difference is going to be the Motham. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have going on for these tasks. So first one up is going to be Catch 5 Onyx for a Metal Coat, simple enough. Catch 5 Porygon for an upgrade. Catch 10 Horsey for a Dragon Scale. Catch 10 Sunkern for a Sunstone. Catch 10 Poliwag or Slowpoke for a King's Rock. And then evolve 5 Pokemon for a 1000 Stardust, that's okay. And then evolve 10 Pokemon for one of the Burmy families and possibly in their shiny form. And as you can see, the CP ranges for 100% to the floor. So evolving 10 Pokemon. What I recommend you do for that is possibly stack them up so you have three of them in your research, complete 10 evolutions, and then you have three chances there. And not only that, maybe you wanna put on a lucky egg and then grind it out afterwards, just so you can get that extra XP if you're looking for that because you will be getting times two XP plus the lucky egg So that is going to be pretty nice if you're trying to go for that All right now taking a look at the next set of tasks here We have evolve a Feebas for three rare candies not too sure how much people are going to really want to do that If you had a Feebas lying around ready to evolve you walk those 20 kilometers Then I suppose you know go for it and then evolve an onyx for a scyther Possibly shiny as well and then use an item to evolve a pokemon for a clam pearl shiny possibility as well and then you have hatch seven eggs for a Sinnoh stone. There you go. Now this one right here is pretty good. You may want to stack these as well. Win five raids because you don't want to go out there and then you find another one and then you're going to have to go win five more raids because this is something you probably want to keep for a glacial, mossy, or magnetic lure. That's pretty good. Those are $2 a pop. They're pretty premium. So yeah, best interest is get three of them, do five raids, and then you're going to have the possibility of just getting one of each of those or at least double or whatever and then finally folks the one you've been waiting for and we have win three times against the team go rocket leaders now this may be another one you want to stack three of because if you do not purchase those radars in the shop that can be a bit tedious going out there and then finding the grunts doing it two more times over that could take quite a bit of time so if you have them stacked up you'll simply be able to collect them all at once so remember if you do find win three times against a team go rocket leader make sure you keep those because that's going to be a unifa stone there all right now moving on to the raids for the tier ones we do have ralts Feebas, burmy plant sandy and then trash so you know simple enough if you're looking for those then go for it and remember that the male and female for the burmy family are going to have different evolutions we'll be going over that more at the end of the video for the tier two raids you're going to have lickitung tangela electabuzz yanma and Mawwow. So the shiny possibilities for the tier 2s are going to be Yanma and Mawwow. For the tier 1s, all of those can be shiny. Which ones would you possibly want to pursue? If you're thinking about Community Day and Ralts, let me just save you some time and tell you that Seeker Noise is not really worth it. Okay, you're better off with Psychic. And then moving on to the tier 3 raids, you have Alolan Raichu yet again going strong. It's like taking over Machamp's spot in that tier 3 raid, just continuously going. Onyx, Scyther, and then Porygon. Now this is pretty interesting. We have a new one for the tier four. We have Marowak, 
Togetic, Tyranitar, Agron, and Excadrill coming in. There you go. That's pretty nice. All right. Now, this can be duoed fairly simple. All right. Just bring in fire, water, ground, fighting. Pretty good. You'll be pretty good. I'll be bringing you a video and uh, taking it out. I don't know if we're going to try to do some sort of unique because if we go in there with all the top counters, it's just going to get absolutely destroyed. And of course, you have the Terrakion in the tier 5 raids. Now, I want to bring this up again. We did go over this a few videos back, but I want to emphasize it yet again because this is kind of important here. So we're going to have a three hour raid period on December 7th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. your local time. Now we're going to have that community day featuring all Pokemon. Not every single one's going to be spawning in the wild, but every single community day Pokemon in the past will be able to evolve all the way up to receive that move. So every single Pokemon that you're going to be able to see here during the three hour raid time can be shiny. Meaning if you go into a tier four, you will be able to encounter a shiny Venusaur, Charizard, or Blastoise. Same with Ivysaur, Charmeleon, and War Turtle, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander. Okay? So you're pretty much going to want to just go for the tier ones and tier twos. If you want to go for the tier fours and use a pine app to get as many cans as you can go for it. And remember, you're going to also be getting five free raid passes. You can stack these up. You're going to have to go to different gyms to get them every time, but I recommend you go for the tier ones and tier twos so you can prepare them for the community day. Now, moving on to my catches here, folks, I'm going to have a side image of all the Pokemon that can evolve with the evolution items minus a lamp it because i don't have one i have litwicks uh so i was catching a ton of stuff and i'm going to tell you right now this event is really good they have a lot of possible shiny potentials in the wild so lots of shiny potentials in the wild is great and all but what's even more important i wouldn't say well yeah kind of i mean technically that's going to be stardust yes i do have that shadow zapdos i did beat giovanni for this month i wanted to have two videos up but it took me so long to find Giovanni, I'll be talking about that in the next video. I don't want to get off topic here. So Pokemon with evolutions in the wild. So basically, Lerons, Haunters, I've uh, been seeing those in the wild. That's pretty good. You can accumulate Stardust a lot more with Pokemon that are evolved in the wild. So you may want to take advantage of that. Run a star piece. We'll look at the boxes because they did switch up. Uh, they did like a couple days ago. So the Burmese, right. So the males are going to evolve into Mothim, and then the females will evolve into the other ones there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it really, I, I'm not so interested. I do have a Trash Cloak that I do use in PvP Great League, powered it up, bought a secondary move. It's, you know, it's pretty good. Um, but for the most part, I just want to hold on to these so I can do as many lucky trades as I possibly can, or trades in general, right? So... Pretty interesting stuff here. I have not evolved into Motham yet. I'm hoping I can possibly find a male version of one of these, Shiny, and then make my first evolution in the decks for that Shiny Motham there. So I am going to be evolving my Pampor <laughs> using that Unova Stone here. This thing is, an, is a goof. Look at it. It is the goofiest looking Pokemon. Uh, but it's a 100, so I was like, I mean, I got a bunch of Unova Stones, including getting one from Giovanni and also having the task. Uh, I, I recently found that on my way home. So there was somebody who posted it on uh, Twitter earlier and on my way found one myself, beat three Team Go Rocket leaders, and then you will get that Unova Stone. Take a look. There it is. And honestly, I have no idea where I even got it. Just uh, Go Plus picked it up somewhere. So this event, guys, very good. I'm enjoying it. I love the spawns out there, and it's just a good opportunity to get Stardust as well as stack up on those evolution items if you're looking to get those. But not only that, the one-hour lures are pretty good. I'm going to go to my try spot, drop probably three magnetic lures, and see what I can get. So take a look at the boxes here. You do have star pieces and a whole lot of raid passes. And then for the adventure box, you have those incubators. And then for the special box, it's a pretty decent deal. So anyways, there you have the rundown on the event, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.